Hello retro gamers, thought we'd look at something a bit different, something I never had the privilege of doing when I was younger, um, but is connecting two Game Gears together via a link cable. Um, now I'm older, unfortunately don't have any friends nearby, particularly ones that would be interested in retro gaming, so I can't really play but um, with, with, with anyone, so to speak. But um, yeah, I've managed to get a setup going here. Um, the cable can be a little hard to get hold of, I think, um, but what I did, I bought this Japanese version of a game which includes the link cable. So I think this is some Japanese football game, but really handy. It contains the link cable which I've set up here. So um, uh, I think this worked out about £10, but I bought it some time ago. Um, but it might be one avenue for you guys to look at if you're interested in doing this. Uh, maybe a bit pointless, uh, like me, where you've got no one, really, who would be interested in playing uh, alongside you. Um, so I've got uh, one Game Gear here, another here, and unfortunately, uh, as everyone knows, these things eat batteries, um, particularly with the original screens. But I've got them connected both up to the mains, so it's all looking a bit messy. And here's the link cable, um, where you have to pop, up, pop, up, pop off the caps. Um, and there they go. They are very firm, it's very tight fit. Uh, I particularly like the cable that I've got. It's Sega. Can you see it's Sega branded? Lovely. Happy days. And um, I've managed to get two copies of Lemmings, one of my absolute favourite games. Uh, this is my original uh, Lemmings um, from the uh, early 90s that I have for the Game Gear. And just a cool little thing that I noticed. Um, there's the Woolworths um, sort of insert there. Um, so uh, happy memories of that. I managed to get a second copy because, of course, to play the game, you need two copies. So that's all set up. So let's see what happens when we switch them both on for some two-player action. Of course, the on switch is here on the right. Just turn the volume slightly up on this one. Okay, and I'm ready. You see it says two player. Two player. Which is great. And I think one really, really interesting thing that I found is if I turn one off, it instantly reflects one player. So, um, clearly, the cable's working. Everything's good. I'll just fire this one back up again. So it seems to know, doesn't it? There's obviously some really good coding there. And also it's going to be hard to play with myself, ha ha, but uh, let's get started. And you can see they're sort of both synchronising there. Now what's really, really interesting, I've played the Amiga two-player version of Lemmings, and you would compete against each other on special levels. What seems to be happening on this version is that you're playing the same level but not in the same session. You're kind of, I guess, trying to get through the level together. Just get these lemmings digging. So we'll let this level play out, but we're not in a kind of versus mode, really. You know, we're not competing against each other. Of course, sort of separate, independent games going on here. And then I think you just, whoever completes it first or whoever saves the most lemmings gets that satisfaction. So let's just let this level play out. So yeah, you can see here, all lemmings counted for. This one's slightly behind. And all lemmings are counted for, 18. So then we just go on to the next level. And it says waiting. So if I just pause this. And pause this. So I think um, it's not what I expected, uh, I have to say, for, for, for Lemmings. I thought it would be like the Amiga version, where you're both competing against each other on the same map. Uh, you know, you can interrupt each other, but all you seem to be doing is just progressing through through the game. But anyway, um, probably would have been cool to have done that uh, when I was younger. But uh, yeah, there's Lemmings with a link cable. Um, I'm sure there are lots of other games you can play in the Game Gear. I've seen a few already. Columns, that would probably be a really good one. Super Off-Road. Um, maybe G-Lock as well. 
Um, so yeah, um, something that I don't think uh, was featured much on YouTube. Um, it was probably something really cool back in the day. And uh, maybe if I can find a friend, uh, could actually have a proper proper game. But there we go. Anyway, enjoy. Cheers.